Well, that is one big fucker. You can see it moving just near the bottom. Right, folks, I did say I was going to make another video uh, regarding uh, freezing the masks with the 99% alcohol and putting them in the freezer. Uh, well, things didn't quite go to plan and we ended up having my daughter down and things like that as well, you know, like uh, while we was doing it. But in all honesty, when we was filming them, uh, the ones that we took out of the freezer and wow, that's really moving. Sorry about that. Uh, the ones that we took out the freezer that would sprayed with alcohol, we did just pop them over the dish and uh, over the pan and gave them a bit of a steam. And I could see what appeared to be some in the mask, but there wasn't moving. So I couldn't really verify whether it was a Morgellons thing or whether it was a bit of hair, basically, do you know, like, because they do just look like hairs, do you know, as you can see with this one that's moving, do you know, like, where it's moving at the bottom and stretching out. So it would have been very inconclusive, basically, so I didn't bother filming that. But in the process of doing that, uh, Dee put a couple more masks, do you know, like, on the, on, uh, strapped to a pan, uh, and she put the pan lid on, which I didn't realise she'd done that, and gave the masks a 10 minute steam so there was absolutely boiled so it was basically a boiled steam that they got you know with the lid down and those masks when we looked at them there was not a single thing in sight so i believe that they may have dropped out of the mask as well you know like so i would recommend maybe uh, trying the alcohol freezing technique, have a look, uh, and also maybe try uh, popping a mask. If you if you get a mask that you know has got more gallons in it that you've seen, uh, put that mask over a pan, put the lid on, leave it steaming for ten minutes, and then inspect the mask again, see if they're clear. That is probably the best thing that I can actually tell you to do at the moment. I mean, this one, I just basically uh, got it, you know, like over the pan again, you know, with some warm water in, you know, like uh, I will uh, try and zoom out. Hopefully I won't lose where this one is when I try and zoom back in again. Yeah, but it is just what I did the other night, but I thought I would give you, make another quick video, you know, just to let you know that it was a bit in inconclusive. But it looks like maybe the alcohol and freezing... Uh, may kill them but it definitely appears that the steaming draws them out of the mask properly so maybe this is more safe to wear doing that let's see if I can find that one again that I was just on sorry for my little rabble there but you know like it's uh, I just want to try and find a way that's safe for, for people to continue wearing the masks because obviously they aren't very safe. There we go, there it is. Is it still moving? Yeah, the bottom there's still moving, you can see it slightly. Let's try and zoom back on this baby again. We have got another, we are going to do another test to uh, see if we can draw them out of the mask and into the water and actually have a look. In fact, I may uh, do a video of that now after this one, you know, with some uh, hot water and just leave it, you know, like uh, steaming for a bit longer, see if any of them drop out into the water. But yeah, you can definitely see that one is still moving at the bottom. It's not really doing much else though, but it's... The bottom tail is the one that's moving. Let's try and zoom in a bit more. Oh, there we go. There we go, it's still twitching like I'm moving. Right, folks, I thought I'd just give you an update that, you know, like, uh, why we haven't made uh, that other video. 
There is more on this mask though, do you know, I've seen another one, but I don't think that one was moving. Let's see if I can find it again. I think it was somewhere up near the days. Another one there. But I couldn't see that one moving when I pinned on that one last time. Sometimes you've got to be really patient, you know, and just sit there and watch them and... That one seems to be a bit dormant, whatever it is, but I would definitely say it is one. There's another one for sure. Not a couple wrapped around each other there for the looks of it. Oh, we could definitely do if you've got any friends that have got uh, microscopes and things like that, uh, I would love to see your little videos made, you know, like uh, of them actually taken off the masks and put onto microscopes. I ain't got the money to be able to afford a microscope or anything, you know, like posh like that, so. But just your basic bloody uh, Samsung phone does the job, doesn't it? You know, like uh, binding them. Oh, is that a hair or is that one? Looks a bit too weird to be a hair, actually. What we could do with it moving? Mm, that, uh, that might be one of my hairs. I've got long hair, so that's probably one of my hairs. Can't fucking be one that long, can it? Let's see what that one at the top's doing now. And there she is. Oh yeah, it's still moving. It's mainly that bottom leg though. I mean, you would have thought that was one of my hairs as well, wouldn't you? But you can clearly see at the bottom it's moving. Which maybe the other thing wasn't a hair. Oh, this is the longest one I've actually seen that's moving. When I first spotted it, I actually thought, oh bugger, I've dropped an hair off my head onto the mask. Until I saw the bottom part moving. There you go, there you go, wow. So there's my fourth video of uh, a mask with a uh, creepy crawly things moving in him. Alright, you all have a good week folks and I'll uh, make some more.